Every day, thousands of people go to the beach to feel the power of the oceans at their feet. The vast ocean is more capable of changing our lives than anyone could imagine. And that's possible through its amazing tidal energy, which can power the entire population of the Earth without depending upon any other form of energy like wind, hydroelectric, and solar energy. But despite having it right under your nose all this time, why is tidal energy not fully utilized to its maximum capacity yet? Well, there are some compelling reasons to understand before jumping to any conclusion. But first, let's understand how tidal energy is created. How is it produced? Every hydroelectric power project needs moving or falling water to generate electricity. In the same way, the gravitational pull created by the sun and the moon on Earth causes these little tides at the beaches, which indirectly creates a perfect environment for turning this kinetic energy into electricity. But before we bear the fruit of its massive energy to light up the entire city, tidal energy needs turbines that love to spin from the push and pull of the water at these beaches. This brings us to the three main types of tidal turbine systems. Tidal Barrage This type of turbine requires a dam-like structure and is considered one of the fastest systems to produce tidal energy. Tidal Turbines These are considered the cheapest and simple methods of achieving tidal energy. It is a lot similar to wind turbines, whereas in this system, the turbine is placed under the water. Tidal Fences one of its major differences is that it spins according to the direction of the water. As we now know what tidal energy actually means, let's now dive into the main reasons that are stopping it from being used the way it should be. Environmental Damage the 2010 report by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association astonished the experts when they discovered that these massive turbines, despite providing electricity to the homes, are also capable of altering the current waves and damaging marine life with its toxic coating of paints. Other harmful effects, including the high possibility of marine life from being hit by the turbines, preventing them from migrating, creating heavy noise under seawater that can damage the ecosystem beyond imagination, and releasing electromagnetic emissions that can confuse a salmon fish from escaping itself from a predator. Highly expensive as tidal energy could face the wrath of cyclones, floods, and other natural phenomena from time to time, it forces the construction engineers to install all the necessary equipment to ensure its durability in such coastal areas. This, in return, demotivates the government and other private investors from putting their money in such highly expensive projects. Limited Locations Another big factor is the location of installing a tidal plant, which is very limited as per present coastal conditions in most of the countries. As the height of the sea during low and high tide plays a massive role in running a tidal plant to its maximum, this condition makes it difficult for installing such plants in every location. But by keeping the roadblocks in installing these plants aside, let's look at some of the advantages of tidal energy. Clean Energy one of the biggest advantages of tidal energy begins with not releasing any form of pollution to the environment. It is pure renewable energy that loves taking limited space to run itself as compared to other plants. More Energy Due to dense water, tidal energy is capable of providing around 800 times more energy than a wind turbine. This makes it more capable of producing a massive amount of energy from a single plant. Durable As compared to solar panels whose durability exists for around 25 to 30 years, tidal power plants are more durable than others because of their average lifespan of 75 to 100 years in total. Current Examples Despite its slow incorporation in today's world, there are some successful tidal power plants around the world that are pushing others to make this a reality. Majin Tidal Stream Project, Scotland With massive 49 feet tall tidal turbines and 52 feet long blades, this tidal project is now providing all-day electricity to around 100,000 homes in Scotland alone. 
Surprisingly, this plant is also responsible for providing 25% of tidal energy resources to the entire European Union. France Tidal Power Station, France Since its establishment in 1966, this tidal power plant is considered one of the oldest ones on Earth. Astonishingly, it is alone responsible for providing 0.12% of electricity to the entire France. But it also faced criticism from environmentalists for damaging nearby estuaries that took around 10 years to recover itself to a normal state. This was all about the amazing tidal energy that could benefit the world on a gigantic level with a slight touch of damaging the environment. It is true that maintaining the marine ecosystem because of the rising level of global warming is one of the most important tasks today, but if we want to catch up with the rising demand for electric vehicles and other electronic-related devices, we must soon find a way to use this enormous tidal energy in a sustainable manner. So what do you think about tidal energy? Do you think it should be adopted immediately by every country? Tell us in the comment section below, and if you have any questions or suggestions, then feel free to mention them in the comment section, and we will surely respond to your request. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.